Hey everyone, Raider here. I hope you're all doing great and having a fantastic day. So one of the questions I get asked a lot whenever I talk about Samsung Goodlock is where can I find it? Because I'm not seeing it in the Samsung Galaxy Store. So if you're not familiar with Goodlock at all, I'm going to link a couple videos down in the description, kind of walk you through a tutorial, and one's also about Theme Park, which is one of the modules within Goodlock. And what Goodlock is, is a customization application which contains several modules that you can download individually, and they let you enhance and extend the functionality of your Samsung Galaxy device for each one of those sections. So each one of these modules offers a very powerful set of features that you can leverage for your Samsung Galaxy device. Unfortunately, for some oddball reason, Samsung decided to region lock this application. And what that means is this good lock application is not available to everyone. It's only available in select regions. So in this video, we're going to talk about how you can get around that if you're not seeing it in the Galaxy Store. And that's where you'll find this, is in the Samsung Galaxy Store. So if you look for it in the Galaxy Store and you don't see it, this video is for you. I'll walk you through getting this set up anywhere in the world. So there's actually several ways to accomplish this. One, you can install a VPN client and connect to like a server from the United States. That's more than enough. And then you'll have to clear your cache on your Galaxy Store. It's also a good idea to remove your SIM card and then you'll install the Galaxy Store and then you disconnect from the VPN and then, you know, everything works as intended. However, most good VPN clients charge you a monthly fee or a yearly annual fee. Um, and there are some good free ones, but you're gonna have to do your homework and you're really trusting a lot on those servers because remember, all your data is getting traffic through their servers. Another way to install GoodLock is to just grab the modules from an APK site like APK Mirror or you can go to XDA Developers and you can basically search for each one of the modules and download them individually. And the, the best way to do it really is just to download them all to your personal computer and then plug in your Galaxy device, copy them all over, and then just install them one by one. So the next way to install GoodLock, I feel is actually kind of the easiest way. And that is, we're just gonna install an application from the Google Play Store that's available everywhere worldwide. And then you'll just download the modules from there instead of having to worry about getting GoodLock because you're not in a country that supports it. So let's go ahead and walk through that real quick. So we'll go ahead and open up the Play Store. And the application we're gonna look for is called NiceLock. I first heard about this, uh, I wanna say like two, two and a half years ago from Saki Tech. Uh, he put it on his channel and uh, it still works great. I definitely highly recommend it. I installed it on my Z Fold 4 and gave it a try. Everything worked fine on it. So here we see NiceLock. Launcher for good luck, right? It just says good L there. Let's go ahead and install that real quick. All right, cool. It's installed. Let's go ahead and open it up. We have our little privacy thing here. We agree. All right. So you'll see here that nice lock shows all the modules, just like what we were seeing in Samsung good luck. And it lets us know which ones are installed, which ones have an update available, which ones aren't installed yet. So all you're going to do is click on any one of the modules you want to install. Like we'll look at a task changer here. All right. And this is going to give you some information about the limitations of GoodLock, letting you know that it's only available in certain areas and you're able to use this application to get them. And it's also letting you know that you're going to go to a third party site, XDA developers, and you're going to be grabbing the APK files from that site. So let's go ahead and continue. Open up the support thread. It's going to take you to a page here, how to download modules. It kind of explains everything to you. All right. So now that we're on this page, what you want to do is click on this. Download companion website. Go ahead and click on that. All right, this shows you all the GoodLock modules that you can download. All right, and you can even get the GoodLock main app if you want. So from the list of modules, go ahead and pick on the one you want to install. So like we picked Task Changer. Now what you're going to see is a list of APK files available for it. They are sorted in chronological order. So the newest one is on top. Just go ahead and click on the name of it. It's going to take you to another page. Skip the ad there. Then you'll scroll down just a little bit. And what you're going to see is download APK. That's what we want. We want the APK file. So let's go ahead and click on that. All right. It's given us a little warning and we're going to go ahead and click download. If we go into our notifications, we see that one file has been downloaded. Let's go ahead and click on that. So what it's letting us know now is that for our security, this file has been blocked, but we can go ahead and change that. We're going to go ahead and open up settings. All right. It's going to take us there. Now remember we were using Samsung internet. So all we have to do is on Samsung internet is turn this toggle on. All right, now it's gonna give us the install option. Let's go ahead and do that. Click install. All right, we are done. So now if we go back to NiceLock, let's go ahead and do that real quick. You will see Task Changer has now been installed, right? 
All right, another option besides using NiceLock to get these modules is another application called FindLock. I've already installed it. We'll go ahead and open it real quick. And this is very similar to NiceLock, just a little bit of a different user interface. We see our unit and family sections, which correspond to the two sections that exist in GoodLock. And we have a section here for not installed for all the different items that we can still install. Um, so if we grab one of these like Pintastic, it's going to take you to the FindLock homepage. And then it's going to take you to a list of all the different modules that you can download. And if we click on any one of these, it's going to take you to APK Mirror, which is another site just like XDA Developers, where you're going to be able to just download each one of the APKs, just like we talked about. And it has the same installation procedure. So FindLock, NiceLock, two different Galaxy Play Store apps that you can download anywhere in the world. And this is a nice and easy way for you to get the GoodLock modules installed on your Samsung Galaxy device. Um, if you'd like to see a tutorial on how to do the VPN way and also copying from their computer directly, please let me know down in the comments. Happy to put that together for you. All right, as always, thanks for watching.